Do you think that the 5800X3D can potentially cannibalize sales of the lower models in the Ryzen 7000 series? Well, I'll just get my crystal ball out. Um, <laughs> no, in, in all honesty, no, I doubt it. Uh, I think if someone's going to be building a, a new computer or they're looking at you know putting quite an investment into a gaming PC once once that our next generation's out, I think they're probably going to want to jump on AM5, get some DDR5 memory, a decent motherboard. Hopefully AMD commit to sort of AM5 officially at some point around the release. Uh, they may have by the uh, time you watch this, actually. We don't know what's going to happen with a uh, potential announcement that could yep. potentially happen before this video. So a <laughs> few things there we don't know at the time of recording this. Uh, but no, not really. The 5800X 3D, that, I see that really as being sort of um, an upgrade opportunity for those of you using older CPUs that want to keep your high-quality AM4 motherboard in service a bit longer. Uh, I think you'd be going with a sort of a Ryzen 5 7600X for, for different reasons, really, I would say. And it, that CPU could potentially be a uh, better value for productivity, a more well-rounded uh, CPU. So yep. the more platform features, all that sort of stuff. So I don't think that's going to be a situation that you'd have to worry about there. Yeah, it's hard to recommend people to, if they're building a new PC or wanting to do a platform upgrade so they'd be considering the old part, mm -hmm. um, to recommend buying a platform where there's no future cpu releases yeah well if the if the ryzen 5 5600 for example which is i think it goes for as little as 170 dollars us if that cpu had a good a massive frequency bump uh a good ipc improvement a huge increase in memory bandwidth it's probably not going to make a 450 dollars cpu from the previous generation all that appealing when you consider all of those pros yeah. for the for the newer uh entry-level Ryzen 7000 CPU.